my channel so for this tutorial i'm going to be showing you guys how to make uh shorts with elastic at the back and band in front with also two side pockets so for that you might need about one yard or one one and a half yard of fabric depending on your size so the first thing you're going to do is to fold your fabric into two and then you're going to check the width so your hip measurement plus two inches so for me my hip measurement divided by four that's 12 plus two inches that's a uh, 14. if you want you can add ease like 0 0.25 if you want don't add ease but your seam there's no seam allowance added here the seam allowance is going to come at the back to hip measurement divided by four plus two so my hip measurement is 48 divided by uh, four is 12 right plus extra two inches which is going to be added at the crotch that's 14 so i have 14 inches of width here so i'm going to just go ahead and mark my uh put in my crotch so the length i'm going to be using here is about 17 inches i'm going to just mark that here this is including my seam allowance for folding the end so i'm going to just go in here and then i'm going to mark my 12 inches of hip I'm going to mark it. This is going to be my waistline. This is the end of my pant. So starting from my waist, I'm going to mark that 12 inches here, right? But to get your crotch, what you're going to do is just put, sit down on a, on a flat surface. And let's say this is your waist. You're going to measure from your waist, your high waist down to the chair and figure out the, uh, I'm going to insert the picture on how to do that here. So you, whatever you get is your crotch. So then what you're going to do now is to whatever you got for me i got got 12 and i'm going to just mark the 12 here and then what i'm going to do next is to mark it this way right so i'm going to make sure that that 12 fits in here on a straight line so as you can see there's no and then i have that two inches of the crotch on this side so i'm just going to connect that here so this is now my crotch this is basically it for your front um the pattern for the front so that's it here so i'm going to just cut this out so guys just let me say it again you see i didn't add any seam allowance at the waist uh, sorry i didn't add any seam allowance anywhere here i've not spoken about seam allowance i'm going to put it at the back of this pant and as you can see i didn't use like um the waist because remember you're going to be using elastic hair and if you try to make it exactly the same as your waist then you can't wear it it can't pass through your hip to get to your waist so you have to leave it the same measurement as the hip right my waist is this part but it's the same measurement as the hip part here so it's just the same so now with this front pattern we'll mark our back pattern so you fold your fabric again into two place your pants this time around just make sure that whatever you fold that this point here has about three inches right three inches for like three inches from this front part here to the back part here so guys now i folded everything i don't know if you can still see my front pattern here this is my front pattern you can see it here let me pull it up and pull it down again so all you have to do is that when you to cut the back panel just make sure that the distance is like three inches from this point to this point like the crotch at the back has uh, up to three inches you see i marked it here and this line is three inches this is where the front stops and then there's a two inches distance here if you're a smaller size maybe like small small you can use like 2.5 or 2 for the back also so what i'm going to do next now is to add two inches at the back here so you're going to go ahead and add distance of two inches from this center back here you see from the center back uh, center of this front one just keep on adding two inches all the way right so i'm going to put this up here and just add two inches all the way now we are putting these two inches our seam allowance we didn't put it before sorry we didn't put it before now we are putting it so i marked the two inches and then i've you're going to cover this way right if you if you feel like two inches is too small that you want to have some fabric inside maybe just make it 2.5 but it can't be more than that two inches is what you can use but you can get away with doing it like 2.5 just so that you can have extra fabric inside or what you can also do is when you were cutting the front instead of using your exact heat measurement divided by four you can just act like you're adding ease to it like 0.5 is like like I said before you can use 0.25 or 0.5 is like 
inside of it and then when you're sewing you just taper it in and it will serve as your seam allowance but normal normally you can just put two, two inches at the back you see we we'll finish that part coming up to the waist here if you're more on the bigger side like you you know your hip is maybe like 49 50 or so then you might want to use three inches here just to cover up the butt if you feel like maybe you're the smaller size medium 2.5 and then small just use two inches just because the butt is at the back so you need the back to be up to cover your you need it higher than the front is what i'm saying so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to use three inches because my hip is 48 so i'm going to use three inches because i want it to come up at the back i don't want when i sit down the back will just like the pants will pull down and then you'll be seeing my pants so <laughs> what i'm going to do is to mark three inches i've marked three inches here and then what i'm going to do next is to connect these three inches to this end right so from this point of three inches, I'm going to connect it to the end because remember the, the front and the back of the pants, they are supposed to meet, right? The side, this is going to be the side of the pant. The crotch part is the center of, of the pant. The sides that meet together, you, you they are supposed to be of the same length. So that's why you only, this is going to be the center back of your pant. That's the pant that is going to be higher. But the, coming to the side is supposed to be the same length as the front. So that's why you cut, you mark the line going down here. So that's why this line comes down here. So that the side of the front and the side of the back are the same. So now I'm going to just cut this out. So guys, now we are going to just split open the side. So you see, you are going to have two for the back and two for the front. So I'm opening up these parts here. So you see this you're going to have so basically you go to the sewing machine you join the center back together right and then you just go ahead and add like a five inches that here just come down here maybe like five inches away from the side or six inches away from the side just putting this you can skip this that at the back but the front you can you must put the front that so, but the dart at the back, you can skip it because there's still going to be elastic here. So the, the dart will not be showing, but it's just to pull, to pull the fabric together at the back so that it's not too puffy at the back. Like when you put the elastic, what you have together is not too much. That's the reason I like to put a dart at the back so that the fabric will not bulk up at the back. That's what I'm saying. So what you're going to do is just mark half an inch, half an inch, and then just dart it, right? On this side and the other side so I'm just going to notch it here so that's all I have to do for the back pattern I'm going to set it aside so what I'm going to do is to show you guys my front uh, that so what I'm going to do here is first I'm going to come down half an inch here and then you're going to just blend it in right blend it in and then you're going to cut this out and then after that you're going to skip half an inch here for your sewing because remember you're still going to join this together so i'm going to skip that half an inch and come in you can use your breast point you can use just if you're on the smaller side you can use 3.5 if you're on the bigger side or just medium you can just use four inches and then extra large or extra extra large can use 4.5 as the distance of the dart so i'm just going to come down here from this point to um about seven inches or so right so you're going to stop from your waist to wherever your your hip is you're going to stop two inches before that so let's say your waist to hip is like 11 inches you're going to stop two inches before that so i'm supposed to stop somewhere about this eight inches is where i'm going to stop and then i'm going to just mark half an inch on each side and that's going to be my dart for the front so i'm going to also notch that here and then for the pockets, what we are going to do is to come down here. There are two ways to put this pocket. You can just go ahead and put the ordinary pocket that just goes by the side, right? You can just use a different color of fabric. So I just put a um, pocket by the side. Or you can also do this one here where I'm still going to make a video on how to just attach pocket in any fabric that you want, any clothes that you want. But for now, I'm going to show you guys this other method where you're just going to come in by um like let's say about four inches in and then i'm going to come down by about 6.5 inches okay that will fit in and then you're going to connect the two together right 
so this is now my pocket here i'm going to cut this out and then cut out another fabric that i'm going to use so this here i'm going to cut it out right so guys this is what i'm going to be using here is about eight inches of width and then about 10 inches of length so what i'm going to do is just put this back here so you see if i put it back here so now i have um it, so this is what it looks like right and then i'm going to also cut out what i'm going to be using for the inside of the pocket so but for now i'm just going to go ahead and chip this off like this half an inch here this here is normally done even on pencil skirts just so that the front here it doesn't have a lot of fabric and so that just to smoothen it out so i'm going to cut this out this thing this half an inch that i came down with to blend it so i'm going to just cut this out so guys this is it here as you can see i've cut out um the second part of my pocket so this one here is so basically what i did is this is the second part i'm going to use for the lining what i did is to cut exactly the same as this rectangular one here and the next thing i did is to use this fabric here and trace out the pocket parts right cut off the excess so now all i have to do is to go to the sewing machine sew in this part put in my darts and then after putting in my darts i'm just going to take this one here i'm going to sew it down flip it in so guys as you can see i've done one side so this is the other side so you see what i was saying just sew this down this way and then you're going to just notch notch it so that the tension will release a little and then the next thing you're going to do is to fold it back in and top stitch it so you see i finished this one and i top stitch it so that when you put your hand the line whatever you use will not be coming out i prefer to use lining it inside of it so that it's not bulky so the next thing you're going to do is the square that you didn't cut out this is the point where you can change the color of this hair you can use like a play fabric that's when you see that some pants the back of the pants the side of the pocket has a different color this is the method here so what you have to do is you're going to put it this way now you have your normal waist back again so put it this way and just use a loose stitch to hold it down onto so guys you see i've added my band you see what it looks like now so if i remove this pin here you see my pocket is ready the lining is on this side the pocket is on this side i i sewed it down on on here this side here with just a loose stitch and the same thing goes for this side so so you see my pocket is ready so what I'm, and then you can also see my darts so let me flip the inside so you guys can see you see my pocket here so what i'm going to do is to just go and go back in here and just close up this pocket so that when you put your hand because right now if you put your hand it's open so i'm just going to take this tool here and then close it up the same see my darts here close it up here so i put in my band so just to put in your band what you need is about five inches of width is what i use you iron in your stay and then you fold it this way five inches so that when you fold it into two you have 2.5 on this side 2.5 on this side and then you fold it that 0.5 on each side and then you use it to attach your band so that's how i put in this band so you're just going to take your band and put well, how, how the, the any length that you need is what you're going to use it i can't tell you how much band you will need for the length you're just going to take it and so however length you need is what you're going to use here so that's what i did for the band but the back is going to be longer because that's where the elastic will be right the length you're going to need here will be longer because remember that's where your elastic will be so here i'm just going to use the same band again pass it through here and then put in my elastic so i'm just going to sew it all the way and then cover it and then pass my elastic close it up on the two sides so guys another thing i normally do for the front pattern you see the front pattern is this here is my pocket so i like to subtract about half an inch at this waistband here if you want you can skip this part but it helps my band lay flat so subtract about half an inch here at the top part of the band and connect it like an angle so you see this is like the corner of my pants here right the corner is this here i subtract half an inch and then i blend it in this way so you see just cut this off and then you go and join it to the back so you see i'm now going to go and join the back and the front so that's basically it
so guys as you can see i finished this here and the back as you can see the back is even wider than the front so now we'll pass the elastic from the back um hole not the front because remember the front has the uh stay ironed in so it's stiff so the front the back is where the elastic will be so you're just going to i i'm supposed to use two inches of elastic width here but i only have one inch right now so i'm going to take it out later but for the purpose of this video i'm just going to use it like that i'm going to just take one end close it up with the band here you see my band from the front i'm going to just close up one end so people were asking me the other time how much elastic do i need i never know how much elastic i need i just go ahead and just pull it until i feel like it's tight enough or you can try it on yourself if, you, if you're making it for yourself it's it can be half of your waistline it's normally like less than that and then you just pull it pull it pull it until you feel like it's okay and then you hold it down so that's basically it you sew the two ends short and that's it so that's basically how you make this pants thank you guys so much for watching please like share and subscribe bye